Right. Hello, everyone. Sri Ram here. We have Vijayan with us from UK who cleared PMP very recently. And uh, it's early morning hours in UK. It's 6 30 in the morning, I believe. Right, uh, Vijayan? Yeah, that's right, Sri Ram. Yeah. <laughs> so it was pretty cold in the morning. So he got up for giving interview for us to talk about what is happening in 2021 exam. A lot of ups and downs here. Before we go there, first we will congratulate him for this massive achievement. I, I believe he started in the month of June uh, 2020. Of course, a lot of ups and downs, but he was so consistent on his preparation. So that gave him this certificate. What is that certificate? I had to get the certificate because only a few hours back he cleared the exam. So this is the one. He got above target there. Wow, that's a good deal. <laughs> right, that's great. First, Vijayan, congratulations to you. At the same time, we are more eager to know what happened in this exam. Do you found a lot of mind change from five domains to going to three domains instead of 200 questions, 180 questions, a lot are there. So if you can talk about it, we'll be so happy to hear you. Yes, definitely. So first of all, good morning, Sriram. So first of all, I would like to extend my thanks to you because without your support, it's not possible at all because it's a long journey which we started from last year, June. But however, I couldn't give exam on the last, uh, I mean, 2020 pattern due to my, you know, ongoing project uh, commitments and deliverables. But, mm -hmm. but that doesn't mean that that doesn't stop me to appear for exam. Uh, mm -hmm. So that's what I would like to tell you here. Yes, uh, coming back to the exam. Yes, um, at the moment, I am working as a project test manager because why I'm telling these things now is, as part of new exam, as you all aware, like we have 50 percentage predictive, I mean, the predictive, the 50 percentage is agile and hybrid. So right. we need to keep it in mind. It's not like, see, when I prepared in 2020, uh, you know, it was not uh, that much agile questions were there uh, as part of uh, pattern, exam pattern or process, whatever uh, we used to call. But at the moment, it's very straightforward all, you know, in out of 180 questions, yes, 50 percentage, which, which will be from agile. No doubt. Right. So unless and until if you don't have a knowledge on agile questions, at least some basic knowledge you should have. Otherwise, you can't, uh, you know, um, uh, answer for that questions. Honest answer. This is, uh, I would say. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. I would advise or I would give a suggestion to everyone. So don't take it light. Agile, now it's 50 percentage. We need to uh, mm -hmm. put some time and we need to concentrate on agile questions. Even though it's, uh, you know, complex or it's small questions, don't give it up. Please try to concentrate on that. Um, That's what my yeah. humble, uh, you know, advice and suggestion to everyone. Uh, That's, a uh, good message. That's a good no. message. Uh, in fact, uh, people are from construction industry or uh, infrastructure. They still have the question, do I need to learn it? Uh, but what I feel is, as uh, PMI is insisting, there will be some meaning behind that. In the sense, uh, in the long run, uh, companies are seeing a hybrid model where you can do both a uh, traditional way and a uh, agile hybrid model. Great. So uh, which book you primarily followed for this exam? Uh, so first book I followed right from June is like uh, first head first. Right. I mean, then actually uh, Pimbok. Uh, then, you know, Pimbok I read at least three times. So Ooh. then I just prepared for, uh, I mean, uh, the last option is re last option was Rita. <laughs> but I would advise everyone to, if anybody knew or anybody very basic thing, they should first kickstart with head first to understand basically, because in head first, we have a visual diagrams along with the concepts, which will be right. very easy to understand for everyone. Then right. Pimbok, definitely you can't ignore Pimbok for sure, definitely, because I read three times. <laughs> so honestly, Pimbok will give you more confidence when you are preparing for examinations for sure. As you advised in very first conversation, I still remember, guys, if you want to go for only crack and exam, go for Rita. But but that is very, very exceptionally, you know, uh, I don't think so that is possible. But okay. honest answer is like, yes, first I followed head first, then Pimbok three times, then I just, you know, read uh, Rita. Okay, you went step by step. Very good. Very yes, good. that right. was the so, method followed. Yeah, uh, but again, this is all five domains placed books, what, are, what we're talking now. But yeah. when you went to exam in January, it will be three domain based. So do you find a great difference uh, after reading these five domains with these books? And even to exam. Uh, I assume you don't read any other book apart from this. No, I'll tell you, yes, I didn't read any other books. But however, uh, I just completed my Scrum certification, which is PSM and the SAFE. 
uh, last year june so okay. that helped me a lot to you know answer the agile questions i would say okay. so honestly i should have read some agile questions i mean agile books but but in day to day life i am working in agile projects now got you got so you. the thing is That's- whatever i secured or whatever i gained a knowledge from professional scrum master certification and safe scaled agile framework back in june from that day onwards i am daily routine project work also into agile methodology now so where i can see all the product backlog scrum uh, kanban uh, retrospective planning sprint planning which helped me a lot but mm-hmm. honestly i was as you said earlier if anybody from other construction industry or other industry so they might be you know uh, i don't know i shouldn't i don't know i can't comment on that because they might be you know look into these bit more uh, how with respect yeah. to their industry the agile methodology will come into picture so right. as we are into information technology yes fine we can say yes i have worked on the day to day daily met- i mean uh, agile methodology yes i can answer i know what is product backlog i know what is sprint planning i know what is retrospective because these are all the questions which we got in our uh, pmp now right. i can give you one example they are asking uh, how many iterations you want uh, you know for the sprint planning and blah 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 uh, oh. etc so oh. even though it's a simple straight forward question for information technology guys mm-hmm. but i don't know for the other industry like petroleum and construction industry so mm-hmm. they should be able to understand at least some basic questions right so time boxing is more important what is burn down chart these are all the things velocity what is velocity for an example i'm saying so these are all the things which will fall under the agile methodology where they must have at least some basic knowledge it would be good for them to jump into the uh, you know pmp um, journey i would say uh, shriram makes sense makes sense thanks thanks for the valuable input uh, in fact i'm seeing some of them are preferring to learn uh, acp classes pmi okay. acp even though they don't go for the exam at least they want to sit in the classes of pmi acp agile certified practitioner like what you said of csm or uh, scaled agile they want to get the essence of it and then go to the pmp also which will add more value 100% also- is right 100% is right because if you go for acp definitely you will cover both so yeah. you can you can get a confidence that you can appear for exam uh, uh, all these 180 questions as you said as i said like 50% is from agile that is for sure uh, right. so definitely yes i would suggest if they join acp they can easily crack on uh, i mean the other industry people i would say <laughs> perfectly perfectly great super vision that's good i like your confidence level you went with uh, pimbok head first rita you said pimbok three times man what a energy you have <laughs> right you needed energy yes. okay great good, good to know so h- how do you block the exam date what was the thought on this date how do you plan uh, it so actually uh, i supposed to give the exam when i uh, seen my peers i mean those who are from june i was right. just you know a bit uh, stressed and you know it's not about just stressed i don't know because i can't commit to my exam because of my ongoing deliverables so right. i felt very bad when i didn't give exam in the uh, 2020 exam pattern because peer, why i'm peer, peer pressure <laughs> <laughs> it's not about peer pressure it's a motivating to you to do that that's what i would say honestly that's the answer so mm-hmm. when when we see you know uh, from june to december why we are not able to do means uh, maybe it's uh, as i said my personal ongoing yeah. project pressure i couldn't make it but that doesn't stop there but what i felt is like i should not give up there i thought like okay oh new pattern is coming so whether i'm able to crack or not i don't know but where i got a confident is my ongoing day to day agile methodology activate activities which uh, helped me a lot no doubt i would say but at the nice. same time you should be very confident on your pmp concepts concepts are more important even right. though you worked on daily uh, you know stuffs but you should know at least the basics concepts from pmp uh, that is mandatory so that right. helped me a lot and uh, i i was ready to crack exam in fact i supposed to i didn't share with you as of now my prep class results in um, last year 2020 with you or rahul because as i said i was on tremendous pressure i couldn't do it but uh, but i did a very good score in last year pattern but i uh-huh. didn't uh, purchase new exam pattern simulator i thought like okay everything will be same there won't be much change but when i went into the examination i can see the five domains i'm not able to see but 
it's in a different way as i i will say one thing here i am not able to see even a single question from floats when you see in a prep cast we have a uh, diagrams where we can see the floats and everything and there is no such questions at the moment in new pattern oh oh they removed it out okay let's go to exam now it's showing more yes. interest so is it a center based exam or the proctor it's a proctor exam which i took it at home um yeah that's what, what they was the process of smooth entry is easy yes it was smooth same like uh, you know initially the proctor uh, i mean uh, we need to do the check in process by uploading our evidences i mean the proofs uh, which i did it then i took the picture from my mobile i mean we will to okay. get the link into my mobile i took it okay. and it was smooth very good very good now exam started so first thing um, how much of time is given for this exam yes uh, 270 minutes i mean so it is true that 4.5 hours is given for 180 questions correct because this is part from your check in time yes it's it's uh, it's i would say uh, honestly i would say <laughs> i don't know because i completed my exam uh, you believe me or not but i should say I tell this i completed my exam in 200 minutes ah you you had a lot of time with you nearly an hour before yes. yes because i'm telling you why because most of, as i said the agile questions are making me fast ah uh, okay as i said it's pretty straight forward questions everywhere uh, agile questions so i can crack it very quickly um, that's the you know um, i'm able to achieve within 200 minutes in fact i was surprised i couldn't take my screenshots <laughs> i don't have mobile right i could <laughs> but I, i was very happy that i can do it that very good, uh, very good. so it's a 180 questions 270 minutes and right so when the exam started um the questions how does the question is is it a lengthy or smaller questions or choices how was it so i would say um, compared to 2020 prep cast exams when i see 2021 the answers are lengthy oh if you see 2020 everything you know the answers for each and every domain areas it will be only one word for yeah. an example very very rare scenario where you get the lengthy answers but here all the answers are lengthy only few questions are in one word which are all related to agile as i said how many iterations is required for sprint planning one iteration or two iteration four iterations blah 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 so i would say the answers are pretty long this time it's not a straight forward answers mm. whatever the straight forward answers are very few which are all from agile i would say so out of 180 they are telling 50% going to be adaptive agile correct so let's assume out of 180 nearly 80 to 90 questions will be little lightweight single lines um i can say yes i can say but but again <laughs> it depends uh, shriram because uh, because we i can't remember all the questions to be honest but whatever the straight forward questions which we got but right. very less i would say because that is for sure this information is new now after i'm listening some of the candidates uh, recently in january they are telling all answers are also smaller now the intensity is slowly getting high what i can feel probably is- even you are right even i i heard because when before i am going to take exam i used to listen the feedback who cleared the exam i have right. listened abhijit also recently and yeah. again you know uh, i because i want to be very very i want to make sure before appearing exam how was the pattern how was the right. complexity so it helped right. me a lot but when i went there in the exam it, as you said it's slowly increasing their you know uh, the intensity mm, there that so, is that is pmi brand so they will increase it so point here is okay the intensity is like that um, are you able to differentiate the question because we have learned like initiation planning execution for a long time so now are you able to differentiate this could be from people this could be from process this could be from business domain are you able to differentiate that questions in that yes, order yes yes we can do as long as anyone who have a strong concept on pmp definitely mm-hmm. they can you know easily uh, differentiate this is from which process either it's a stakeholder stakeholder or it's you know communication or it's cost yes you mm-hmm. can differentiate unless and until if you are strong with your uh, pmp definitely concepts are more important definitely you can differentiate no doubt 
that's that's pretty interesting pretty interesting and uh, one thing i want to check out is uh, when you answer this questions is this questions are coming directly or they having some wrap up of a statement talking about scenarios are they giving some scenario there yes uh, so some of the questions are with scenarios uh, i can tell you some of the examples uh, for an example the match the following which is drag and drop i would say so i got around 15 questions i just 15 drag and drop 15, 15 drag and drop you believe me or not i just but it's are very easy i'll tell you some of the examples also because i don't you know as part of one uh, so you cannot tell the actual question i know as i know i know that's the pmi yeah i know because that is also part of our exam so i can tell you some example means i am not going to tell you anything so they right. will ask you some of the risk strategies some of the you know um, what i can say um, i mean the choices can I, be on this strategy how to attack this risk okay you can correct. drag and drop uh, correct drag and drop or some of the concepts you know whether you are really performing correct. well or not tuck tuck man will come <laughs> forming <laughs> more i supposed to tell you that yes Uh, i should not tell this as part of pm my conduct <laughs> oh, tuckman is very common tuckman is become very famous every exam question you will have tuckman forming norming storming you will be there okay is there how you know how you know shriram they have given a scenario uh uh-huh. they have given a scenario they have given the associated uh, you know uh, stuff we need uh-huh. to match we need to drag and drop yes in fact i have seen Mm-hmm. yes in fact i have seen your question also when you posted in sri ram learning i mean the website where you put a graph you remember yeah. the dot yeah, yeah 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 i was i was uh, thinking that okay this kind of graph will come in the question definitely then i realized uh, I, i i can't see such kind of graph but everything oh. drag and drag and oh. drag which is match the following that's really good input from you um, in fact pmi decided to give five variety Uh, so people want variety right don't want to wear the same t-shirt they want different variety so i agree i said match the following they said a hot spot hot spot is the one which has a graph where you have to click it Correct. so far no candidate has said that i had a hot spot so everybody is no. saying that either they have a multi choice multiple response match the following fill up the blanks these four are coming see i got only one fill in the blanks oh Oh, so okay. again as i said uh, we have a b c d where okay. they have given the scenarios i need to fill the blank whether it is a or b or c that's it uh-huh. so we no need to we no need to write i was very scared when when i was uh, you know thinking about filling the blanks even in school exams also i i pretty it's very hard <laughs> because if you want to fill some word in the sentence it's very difficult True. so when i when i saw the fill in the blanks exam there it's very straightforward okay. a is some scenario b is some scenario c is some scenario you need to just fill it out whether it is a or b or c or d that's it that's i got nice. only one fill in the blanks question uh, which is which is fine that's that's interesting that's interesting good so what i understand is so i i can't hear you sriram is it uh, yeah now i can hear you yeah it's yeah. a little bit okay. stuck there yeah maybe the internet connection little store there so, okay hope, and one more they... thing i would like to tell you uh, i got a, a multiple answer questions as well So uh-huh. around 6 to 7 questions choose two because for what they will do multiple questions they will give it in a bracket saying that choose two or choose three mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. basically uh, i got around 6 to 5 to 6 questions choose two and i got one or two choose three questions aha uh-huh. aha uh-huh. so i would say whatever you said all four of them are covered now so choose three yeah. choose two one fill in the blanks and 15 match match the following question which is drag and drop ah uh, a drag and drop is a little crazy right uh, but yes. one thing bijay and did you found okay i don't know whether you tried it without completing the match the following properly if you try to go to next question are they allowing to go no it won't allow i'll tell you it won't allow so what happened is i'll tell you one uh, you know example so when hmm. i try to uh, uh, select the match the following i finished it off but mm. i not even scroll down properly i mean all four questions are in my screen window but uh, there is a little bit space down mm. i didn't scroll up properly and click on next but it's not mm. allowing me oh. and moreover i tried one more thing without answering one of the match the following questions it's not allowing you need to select mandatorily either it is wrong or not you need to complete the match the following oh, oh, oh. okay that thanks for attempting it because i was checking with abhijit whether you tried it maybe yes. he didn't try 
by the time but we don't have the intention to try in the exam hall but good you saw that so it means by mistake also if you miss any of the match they try to allow you to stay there and fix it that's a good thought but tell me match the following do you think it's consuming extra time honestly no uh, um, sri ram because it's it all straight forward scenario based questions right so as i said okay. if let's say for an example risk strategy question means you know what exactly it is right okay. if you want to accept the risk or if you want to escalate the risk you know the scenario what exactly it has right. to be there right. so You're they will right. give a scenario on the left hand side they will give the associated uh, risk on the right hand side so all that is like you need to understand the risk strategy which is going to be match whether it is uh, xxx or yyy you know if it is accept means you know what is the scenario for accept the risk so mm-hmm. all that is like you need to be very clear about the risk strategies uh, you know whether it is you know a threat or it is what opportunities whatever it may be you need to be very careful it's straight forward scenario based questions straight away you can answer uh, shriram no doubt that makes pretty sense so now i'm going to put three questions for you these are three questions i always get one is are we getting ittto questions inputs tools and technical questions i always no. say no no but people no are... in fact even 2020 also we know very well nobody will give importance to that again in 2021 i thought like some questions will be there but honestly i didn't prepare any ittto questions at that okay. all as okay. long as when i prepared pimbok i watched what are all the ittos based on the diagram but okay. i i didn't you know given much importance to ittto honestly okay. apologize for that <laughs> because uh, <laughs> because anyway we know very well uh, i would say to our colleagues also they should not you know waste time by just spending on ittos uh, just for exam preparation they need to know it doesn't mean yeah. that they need to skip but they need to know basic ittos but don't waste time by spending on that unnecessarily in prep cost as well i would say perfect perfect good i i got your point completely now the question 2 is Uh, people are very worried about evm earn value management do they have questions of cpi spi tcpi is there anything they targeting and drilling down so shriram i honestly if you ask me i got only one question so where they have given a scenario and they ask me what is the status of this oh that's it no calculation spi or cpi whatever it may be they given okay. a scenario they ask me what is the status of this uh, you know cost or schedule they given okay. a, a answer straight away i got only one answer which i was very surprised i thought i just spend lot of time on formulas honestly yeah. i haven't got any calculations apart from you know that straight forward answer which was okay. very surprised to me uh, in 2021 pattern is that vijayan surprised or disappointed that uh... man no, i prefer lot i would say test. i would say surprise i should not disappoint why you know because we need to spend time on calculations right doing calculations you know you will lose your time but at the same time uh, i am surprised because those are all the important key questions when we studied in our program i mean the session so true, in true. fact you remember uh, i i still remember uh, you know all the uh, eacs we need to validate I mean, we need to know what is the difference between four different formulas so i no, spent a no, lot no. of time now all gone uh, so, which I, is good which okay. is good from which is good from you know exam point of view we don't need to waste time uh, there where we can follow the time boxing i would say not only that even float also if you see the float related questions in 2020 we need to spend more time uh, to calculate the float values and all those stuffs but i haven't got a single question from there right that was my third question to ask do we have network path related questions because no. people are scared about it so that is also not there no okay because these are the areas we spend lot time in the classes uh, yes. we take a network diagram that will go one hour of class evm yes. go two hours of class right so i think that is saving and what is our strategy maybe uh, now this is all automated um, ms project or a jira board can help to make this calculation true Maybe. Uh, i i supposed to tell you because in our current project also we are using jira now so everywhere right. now you know uh, jira on confluence for uh, sharepoint they are using confluence uh, right. jira right. Will, will be the management tool going forward probably that's what you know they are trying to reduce that kind of questions probably uh, which is which is good which is good from point of view i mean as i said we can maintain the time boxing during our examination perfect great really good i think you are uh, inputs are giving more confidence for the people 
even though you didn't read anything on the latest concepts which given in the new exam content outline you read the old content outline one good thing here is you read agile you practice agile yes and apart from that you spend good time reading pembok sixth edition very well at least two to three times you read really well so you understood the concept of leadership management very well you understood the agile with some of the training and also by practicing when you gel right. together you are able to write the exam very well that's right because uh, i didn't get a chance to see the exam outline the 2020 exam outline uh, honestly i would say as you said like yes uh, the my day to day agile methodology experience uh, you know uh, helped me a lot i would Perfect. say as you Perfect. said if anybody from other than it industry if they take acp class definitely it will be a value addition to them well yeah, add on value for them very good super bajan thanks a lot in fact uh, it opens a high for many people who are still worried can i go for this exam now i think uh, the way you are explaining gives some clarity and thought what to do super great i appreciate it so no, so how is your fam- how is the family support for this exam no without my wife's and uh, my kids support it's not possible at all i would say because uh, whenever you know uh, as you know we are abroad now we don't know, we don't have any one family i mean with parents or uh, you know right. in laws right. or anyone so mm-hmm. we need to support each other uh, so but but they help me a lot to okay you go and prepare no worries because all the time till 12 o'clock midnight also i used to study but oh. but uh, that doesn't stop me and um, yes perfect. definitely without my family support it's not possible perfect so you didn't you didn't go anywhere out you were stuck because of this lockdown also no because pandemic start last year uh, uh, since march right it's been going it's going to be one year in fact you know uh, we don't have offices open here it's not going to open even next uh, you know till next august because everybody has to get a vaccinated as part of uk government here so we are not going to office till september got you got you so after the winning this exam did you give party to the family no not at <laughs> i have to prepare my own my wife will ask me prepare something at home anyway you are not going to take me out so <laughs> so i have to ready i have to be ready for that now <laughs> so the next important deliverable is giving party to the family <laughs> correct you are right you are right uh, shriram yeah so so which part of the uk you are so i am uh, living uh, i am living in finden uh, from london heathrow 80 miles away oh oh okay is it a very scenic place or outskirts how uh, is it Uh, it's it's a small village actually i would say because uh, we have our client headquarters here i'm working for nationwide building society which is a bank so uh-huh. we have our headquarters here in swindon which is a very very small town so it's very good uh, very peace uh, very calm i mean it's countryside everywhere around so it's good good place to live it will be green and uh, beautiful correct and more over uh, but more indians are here uh, that's you know you can you can feel like uh, you are in a mini india now <laughs> so that is one thing that's true man wherever we go we have our brand there <laughs> yeah, ever everywhere is there our brand yeah our guys are there british some time back used to tell that our uh, sun never sets for them right because their flag will be in each country all over the world where the sun never sets for india now sun never sets and moon also never sets so <laughs> always we are there all over the world these guys that's are right. getting all over great tell some speciality about your place food what is special there food uh, uh, area what what is special there no no here actually we have uh, i mean uh, button on the water which is near to uh, our place like uh, we used to call it as little venice i mean uh, if you might have seen in uh, you know the water in the venice right so where we have a small boats and everything will be there so that's the yeah. a good, a good place which is near to our place i mean around 30 minutes drive uh, mm. so that's the one uh, tourism spot i would say so all the mm. people whenever uh, they want to spend good time with family we used to go there um, mm. that's that's a good place uh, i would say so nice. apart from that we don't have much anything but we need to travel around 1 or 30 minutes uh, to drive if you want to visit any balaji temple also we need to go to birmingham so <laughs> so we used to go <laughs> uh, <laughs> so balaji temple helps you <laughs> yes definitely yes you know you know we need to we need to be you know uh, what i can say i i i believe uh, god so definitely yes that's nice no i mean uh, you have a connection with the people when you go there you get your uh, social connection happening there yeah that's important right 
that's very so important. we have a community indian community region wise here in our town like say if you are from tamil nadu you have tamil community if you are from andhra you have a telugu community so everywhere we have a community but uh, gugat is like i am part of hss which is hindu swayam sevak so where we used to do all the charity works and all those stuffs so right. which is good uh, which will connect people uh, you know we will forget about regions we are all uh, indians That's we are all uh, you know so so we did some good projects last year in fact i mentioned in my linkedin page as well so which is good uh, we can create our visibility in uk as well it doesn't mean that it's not going to stop us great vijayan you are pretty active on all the form <laughs> <laughs> no it's, it's not like i mean see as i said when we are away from uh, uh, india we need to be uh, you know connected with people's uh, i mean connect to people right because at the end if you want anything they will come there support with each other so you should you should do the same that's what uh, my gut feeling shriram you're right you're absolutely right i'm right. happy hearing about the plays and what you do so if you want to give some tips to the people who are preparing for 2021 exam uh would you like to give some do's and don'ts what they can so i would say i would request to my colleagues anyway sri ram learning even though i am alumni of sri ram so they are going to be my colleagues anyway <laughs> so i would say they should be pretty confident whoever maybe them i mean like me some people might have participated in 2021 don't be scared about the new pattern as i said yes whatever you learned which is not going to be uh, you know uh, worried don't worry you should use the pma pmp concepts and you can do it you can easily crack it as long as as i said please get in uh, touch base with all the agile concepts don't take it like because 50 percentage of uh, questions will be from agile for sure because in earlier days what we thought like okay they will say agile but there were there were no questions from agile because it was like that but now for 2021 yes you should be you know you should have a call knowledge on agile please please don't take it light about agile please learn agile concepts it is very much required at the same time please go through pimbok one or two times you need to go through it unless until if you are not going to get the concepts of pmp you can't do it so that my humble request and honest advice to everyone perfect perfect you 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 made the day very clear because uh, many have a uh, doubt whether i have to read it very well but i think you made it very clear please read it carefully super great vijayan thanks a lot um, i want to give a heart full of thanks from the team here because i know you cleared uh, within uh, maybe 24 hours within the time we catched up with you and That's you right. were looking up forward to help us to give some input because uh, i used to take a lot of interview for 2020 still it is worth value because the same input continues here but Sorry. still uh when you talk about 2020 when people little have worry can we do it but i think your interview gives a lot of clarity uh, which book to read and uh, how to prepare and don't feel fear just go and do it right learn okay. agile in this way that's a really good one great and uh, thanks a lot once again and once again congratulations you belong to now top 2% yeah. you know, you're going to you're going to rock the world with leadership knowledge thanks a lot thanks a lot for your support uh, sri ram and i would like to extend my thanks to rahul as well because the day to day when you guys are sharing the 10 questions daily which helped a lot to everyone so right. it doesn't i mean even though you know that concept but when you see the 10 questions daily you will feel more confident yes we can we can give a try in fact i remember people used to be very you know hurry i need to answer first i need to answer first that makes people to uh, motivate i mean to yeah we we will learn our mistakes as well when we learn when we do any mistakes on 10 questions immediately we can refer the book and we can you know do it so that is really a awesome uh, approach which you designed in sri reling i would right. say right. that's the superb approach and uh, i would like to extend my you know uh, wishes to everyone who is going to appear in upcoming 2021 all the yeah. best for you guys definitely you can crack it be confident don't get fear you can do it come on cool that gives pretty confident everyone thanks a lot vijayan i appreciate your time i am eagerly waiting to share my certificate with you sir <laughs> yeah, <laughs> let's yeah. see yeah that will happen on linkedin we have to say yes i'm 2021 certified <laughs> no that orange certificate you know i'm eagerly waiting for that since 6 months 
you know when you see that you feel emotionally attached uh, when you see your name there I, i'll tell you you will feel it when you see the certificate oh my god my name is there <laughs> that's, that's right really sriram that's right. right yeah thanks a lot sriram thanks a lot for your time thank you i appreciate it